Welcome back guys. It's been a while since my last video, but I've been getting a lot of questions about how I level up my gear so fast. You're probably thinking, oh, I already know all about Shirochi, Grasp Avarice, whatever, but I'm going to show you some tricks to cut your leveling time in half and make it so much easier. Trust me. This is going to be a little bit of an in-depth guide, not really a quick short video, but by the time we're done, we'll be absolutely zooming through your leveling grind. If you already know all about Shirochi farming, and most of you probably do by now, Feel free to skip this part. I'm just going to show you how to get there. We're going to start by loading into the last wish raid and going up to the wish wall. Enter in the Shirochi wish. I'll show you on screen right here. And you'll be teleported right to the Shirochi checkpoint. Better get used to this place because you're going to be spending a lot of time here. Before we really go into anything here, just a side note. When you first craft your weapon, you should always go for PvE add clear perks to speed up your grind. Yes, even for your PvP rolls, unless you really plan on diving in with it right away. So with that taken care of, let's get right to the build. This build has three goals. One, maximize damage output. Two, maximize damage resistance. And three, maximize super regen. As always for Shirochi, you want to be on a Night Stalker Hunter with Orpheus Rigs. Run Deadfall Tether, Marksman's Dodge, Echo of Starvation, and Echo of Reprisal. I also like Dilation and Domineering for stat boost and instant reloads. Whatever. Use Silas Executioner for the extra fragment slot and some invis here and there. Moving on to the armor. The goal here is to maximize survivability so you can run in there mindlessly and get your runs done fast. This season gave Resilience a massive buff. Max it out if you can for 40% DR. Nothing else here really matters to this build. No other stats are important here. If you're not already using Miyago's D2 Armor Picker to hit those stat spreads in your builds, I cannot recommend this tool enough. I'll put a link in the description. Check it out. It is a game changer. You'll want to run Siphon Mods on your helmet for orb generation. If you're leveling a primary ammo weapon, run two of these. If you're working on special or heavy, just match the element and run an ammo finder. Nothing else to it. Your arms, chest, and legs should all be void. Run well of tenacity on your arms. Run a loader mod if you can fit it. Custom dampener and melee resist on your test piece and another well of tenacity. You may as well slap on the artifact resist mod too, why not? Run reaping well maker on your legs. If you're leveling a primary, just add some orb mods here. For special and heavy, fit a scav mod if you can fit it. To tie it all together, you'll want a last wish or reverie dawn cloak. Slap on a transcendent blessing. This gives a 5% buff to all damage output. If you don't have one, you can get one from the Dreaming City on every third curse week. Complete with the offering of the Oracle Bounty from Petra, visit Mara's Empty Throne, and complete the Receive Queen's Bounty. This season, you can use Radiant Orbs for some extra damage, otherwise just run a couple utility kickstarters. Elemental Time Dilation will allow Well Tenacity to stack, and from there you can add and Taken Barrier for even more DR if you have it. Just a few more things, but we are almost done. First, you'll want to be able to pick up Orbs to proc Devour even with a full super. This season, Radiant Orbs allows us to do that, but you can also use an Explosive Light Heavy Weapon. Next, Weapon Mods. Most of the time, you'll just want to use Take and Spec if you have it, but perk boosting mods for older weapons work just fine. Full Auto Retrofit is really nice for sidearm scouts and stuff too. Trust me, I have terrible wrists. It really helps. With all that said and done, let's save this. Dim's Loadout Tool is extremely powerful. If you're not already using this, I highly recommend you play around with it a little bit. Save your loadout in here, and you can automatically apply the entire thing later in orbit. I'll share my own loadout in the links below. Check it out. We have spent so much time going over the build. Now we got to see how this plays out. So you just run in, pop a tether, kill the ads, grab the orbs to proc devour and radiant, use your dodge to reload instead of just reloading. That'll proc Ruben Wellmaker. And then you just become an invincible thrall slaughtering machine. That's all there is to it. Okay, I lied. There are a few key points to keep in mind. One, be careful not to hit an enemy with your tether directly because the volatile explosions that it causes will not count for your weapon leveling. Two, don't just merc the knights and captain. Shirochi's add spawn mechanic is really subtle. If you just melt everything, you'll get maybe 60 thrall. You really want to kill all the thrall, then one knight. Kill the new thrall that spawned, then one more knight. All the thrall, one more knight. Keep doing this and you should hit about 100 or more adds every single run. Easier said than done when you're leveling crazy adcore weapons like GLs and rockets. 
But do your best to stick to this pattern and you'll get a ton every single time. Three, the timer is always ticking. This usually won't be a problem, but if you are too slow, the ads will stop spawning. Four, rally banners. Everybody says that the pain point with Shiro T farming is the rally banner cost. With this setup, you will barely ever need them. Don't bother using them for your super, but if you do run low on ammo between runs, just throw a banner down, but you really won't need them for your super. I'm going to let this full run play out so you can see how this works in action. Keep a careful eye on the buffs. This definitely got more lengthy than I wanted, but hopefully this will help you get your crafted gear level up fast. If you're sick of Sir OT, there are some other farms out there. The Grasp of Avarice intro is actually really solid. And Shadow Keeps in the Deep mission farm is actually really good. I'll link this one below as well. Check that one out. If you like this video, if you like this kind of content, subscribe to the channel. Let me know what you want to see. I also stream every Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday on Twitch, occasional weekends, all that fun stuff. Let me know if this guide helped. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. See you soon.